Now, the ELOI is well underway with all 20 clubs competing in the E League of Ireland over the next couple of weeks. Yes, I said ELOI, and it is exactly what it says on the tin. It's the League of Ireland, but in FIFA on PlayStation 4 in a tournament that comes under the official League of Ireland umbrella. The clubs all ran their own internal tournaments over the previous couple of weeks to determine who their official ELOI player would be. And the majority of, of those people who are playing for their clubs are actually supporters, which makes it even better. Game day one was last week with St. Pat's against Waterford. The second round of fixtures being played this week with live broadcasts from game day three onwards, all the way up to the final, which will take place on the 10th of May. The winner of the new ELOI will become one of two designated players to represent the Republic of Ireland in the FIFA E-Nation Series 2021, where they'll go head-to-head -head against the top FIFA eSports nations in qualification in May 2021, playing to reach the grand finals in the autumn. And our official St. Patrick's Athletic player is also a Saints fan, local in Chicor lad too, and he joins me now on our Talking Saints podcast. Owen Norton, how are you? I'm doing good, Jamie. Nice to be here. Yes, here. for those who are listening to the podcast, Owen is in his brand new 2021 away St. Pat's jersey and getting ready for his match tonight against UCD. And then they'll also play against Shamrock Rovers and Longford Town in the group phase. Owen, I suppose, firstly, you might just talk us through, and this is a very new thing, certainly for, for League of Ireland clubs, exactly how this has worked for you, how you qualified and how it's been so far being our official ELOI FIFA player. Which is something I really was interested in, with, especially playing for Pat's as well, like the local team. Uh, it was a no-brainer really so I, I sent uh, the email in and I heard back then about a tournament so I had to to play that then and it, it was really it, it was hard and then but at the end of it I really enjoyed that I represented my own club and it was the only team I, I put in for so it was it was a no-brainer on that end and just just the fact that it was FIFA as well something that I enjoyed, I enjoyed to play and I, I feel I'm, I'm good at as well and I can play to a, a good standard um, and then just just to to plan the nature of the the first ever ELO was just it was really uh, uh, interesting and some way would really be in, enjoying the playing. Yeah, and just to explain to people, you know, this isn't just something that a lot of you guys are doing as a hobby or as a bit of fun. Well, you are doing it as a hobby and as a bit of fun, but like. Some of the players who are playing in this ELOI are some of the top ranked players in the country and the ELOI and the esports space is massive around the world and it's something that will continue to grow and get bigger in Ireland. But like this is proper serious for you guys, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's very serious. Like some of the top players even in the world are in this. Um so it's it's definitely a very competitive scene. Um there's gonna be a lot of let's say heartbreak um if the results start going your way. Um, but I'm fully ready for it, and I'll, I'll 100 give the best I can. I, I do kind of play to a standard level, like a high standing myself. Um, so it's it's definitely going to be very competitive, and you should definitely tune in and check it out. Some of the best players in the country, as you said, are playing, and and be good to watch. Yeah. So explain to me how it actually works, because because of COVID, it's all being done from the comfort of your own home, and you can see the other player and hear the other player, and there's an official fixture list, as I mentioned. So. Again, for, for someone who knows nothing about it, just talk me through how it actually works, the gameplay and the fixtures and that sort of stuff. Yeah, so it, it's very serious now, especially because it has to be done from your house. It's very it's very different to how I, I'd normally see how, see it done. So they're kind of, you're put into a, a group against, let's say I'm in the Rovers, Longford and Waterford group um, and UCD. So you'd put into that group and you're... Um, Fixed, fixture up um, so this week I'll be playing UCD um, and the gameplay is very different so you're playing it on uh, online seasons if some of you know what that means uh, it's basically not, not ultimate team it's the, it's the mode where you're just playing as a single team so it, it's very different to how you would set up on ultimate team it is um, it's a lot different and um, the gameplay wise is a lot different than every pro is the same rating so there's not no one has an advantage on that end um, and I, I feel like it, it is it is very hard to play on that mode especially because some of the pros are like 60 rated 50 rated but because they're 90 rated now it's just it's very different and it's a very different environment uh, just playing with them that, that type of team um, but no it, it's it, it's it's very hard like coming across just you're just looking from the outside but once you kind of get a hang of it it's, it's very very easy 
because you don't understand then once you you know what's going on and and how it's being played out. And um, so every every week then from starting last week, um, it'll be every week and then right up until the fourth of May, which will be when the final is played. And um, so it, it it is a very strange environment, as I said, from looking from the inside. But um, once you kind of know what's going on and the the area around that, you you kind of get a hang of it pretty quickly. Now, the St. Pat's team on the pitch have started the season well with 10 points from the opening 12. But what are we like at FIFA and who are our best players in FIFA? And uh, I suppose for you as the player, like you said, everybody is ranked the same. So is it fully down to like you against the opposition player and the standard of the, the FIFA team or the players in FIFA doesn't matter too much? Or, or how does that actually work? Um. It is kind of the same as in the writing ways, but I think there is a few players that have kind of caught, uh, catch the eye a bit. Like um, Ronan's very good. I, I enjoy playing with him and and Chris Forrester. He's 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 deadly on the game as well. Um, so no, they are they are kind of same writing, but the players do play up to some of the standards that they they would previously have on their their like their normal writing. So um, it it is very good to to play with them actually. They, they're going to be five players. And so I've gotten in the first game anyway. And I, I like uh, Melvin and uh, Neil Lambert as well. He's, he's yeah. good. Uh, he's very, very fast in the game. Like he, if, because everyone's saying rain, but he just feels that extra bit more, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, so it, it is good to, to play with them players. And do you actually pick your starting team to for each match and, and depending maybe who you're playing, like you mentioned there about Ney and Melvin Lambert and his pace. So you might pick him in the team or you might play a different formation depending on how you feel you can best win the game. Yeah, so I, I kind of start off in the 4 one 2 and 2 just have a narrow formation, keep the ball and, and see how the, the opponent is playing off. Um, but if the game's kind of not going your way, I kind of go to a wide formation or even go to a three back and kind of kind of pressure them from there. So um, it, it does depend on how the, I see the opponent is playing out. Like I could start maybe Dara Bournes or or um, or Billy King on the wing, um, just because they they have a bit a little bit of pace and they can kind of go boy a player as well, um. So I kind of I kind of just see how the opponents fit out and I just base my game off that and get a good reading of them. Yeah, well, I know about Ronan Cochran and Chris Forrester are two big uh, FIFA players. I think a lot of the lads actually play. A couple of them actually wanted to possibly put themselves into the hat for the internal tournament to become the St. Pat's player, but with their own commitments and midweek games and stuff like that as well, it would have been impossible to do. So um, I'm sure you're you're quite happy to be the player as well. Um, when the games are actually on, how are you? Are you... Is the word calm, can I say, when you're... Anytime I play FIFA, and I'm terrible, but if I play with my mates, I wouldn't describe it as calm. You're shouting and screaming and roaring, and it's it can yeah. be a, a hectic place. So uh, how are you when you're playing these big games? And as we said, you're sitting in the comfort of your house and um, playing in, in quite important FIFA games. I, again, as you said, the word calm, you're not really calm, but like especially now you have to calm down and, and just take a breather because if you just lose the head, you could be three, four nil down in the next one minute, two minutes. It's just, you have to just keep your head, especially against the top players. You like, you'd only get maybe three or four chances a game. And if you don't really take them, your your head could be gone. But you, you just need to keep it keep it level-headed and just see how the game plays. Because like, you never know, it's FIFA. You, you could score three on the bounce and concede two on the bounce then. It's just, it's just that type of game. But I, I do try to keep a level head, especially like if I'm just playing man. It's then I'd be a bit less uh, uh, stressed. What's the word stressed, yeah, stressed. Um, but like, yeah, especially in these games, you need to keep level headed and keep calm because you're on live and like you can't really shout or scream. So it's just you have to keep your level headed and uh, keep calm. It's it's only it's only, at the end of the day, it's only a game of FIFA. It happens, um, but you do it, it, You can get caught up in it, so that's why you. Just need to keep uh, your head down and keep going. Yeah, now uh, speaking of keeping calm, your opening match against Waterford last week, I'm not sure how calm you could have been because you finished St. Pat's 7, Waterford 10. So uh, I know in FIFA there are a lot of there are a lot more goals in FIFA, for example, than there is in a real football match. But uh, how was that one? And, and I suppose as well, like how long are those games? And did you play two fixtures back to back and then they combined the aggregate scores or something, is it? Yeah, so I played two legs. I played one at home and then one away. Okay. Um, and they add the two scores together. But 
I felt in that game, I went I went up 2-0 in the first game and I don't know what happened. I just conceded the first goal and then he scored a second then a minute or two later. Um, in, the, in, the, in the second game as well, I, I felt I went, I went up by two goals and because I was going for the game, he caught me on the counter and he scored uh, to make it 3-2, I believe, at that stage. Um, so I do, I do feel I had a good control of the game. I just, I, I just, um, I don't know. Do, do he change? I think he changed the formation, and I just kind of didn't know how to react to it. And then by that time, he was, he was winning the game, and I had to go chase. And then I left gaps in the in the defense. But they do add up uh, two scores. So I, I do like that format because it's not just one game. You're playing two. And it's it's a fair fair result then if you're playing two games. You know, it's not just one off and you're saying, Oh, I could have beat him in this score or or that score. But I, I think it, I think the way they have it set up is, is good and especially with the groups as well. At least if you don't win your four six, you still have four more to play then and, and it's it is all to play for now. So hopefully I can I can kick on and, and get me four win. How long are the games? Oh, sorry. The, the games are I think they're six minute half, so twelve oh. minutes per game. It's it's not too bad. It's uh, when you're in there, it feels longer than it actually is, um, especially in the competitive games. But it's it's not too long. They're only six minute halves. The esports kind of world and space is huge in the world, and as I mentioned at the start, Owen, it's it's in a place in Ireland where it'll only get bigger as the weeks and months go on, and you know I think you know, things like this and having an official League of Ireland in FIFA, like an ELOI is, you know, a really interesting concept and a great idea. And um, I'm sure things will go really well over the next few weeks. Um, how big is, is, is kind of this, this world of, of kind of online gaming and, and competitions? And, you know, we mentioned the winner of this competition will be one of two Irish players to play in, in like effectively as Ireland in like the, the E-FIFA tournament and stuff. So like it's, it's fairly big. It it is fairly big. I'm relatively new. I'm relatively new to the the scene myself. Um, so I, I as I've known the competitive side and on other games is is very big, especially uh, over in America and uh, England and stuff. Um, but it's, it it is very new in Ireland. Um, as it, it can only get bigger from here. Um, especially like to represent Ireland, that's that's like the highest you can you can go really. Um, but I I love I love the feeling that. If if I did if I did get through and I won most of the games, uh, I, I have the chance of just representing my country, and that's just the, the best standard you can do uh, for me anyway at esports level. Um, but yeah, it it is it is getting bigger, and it's, it, especially with the the ELOI that'll even push it up to the next level. It'll give it that extra kick on it it needs. Um, so hopefully we can we can see now in the future over the next few years they'll have live events and it'll just get bigger from here. Yeah, and the winner of the ELOI will go on to be one of two Irish players for ROI in the FIFA E Nation Series 2021. They'll go head to head against other top FIFA esports nations in qualification. That's in May of this year, playing to reach the grand finals in the autumn as well. And you mentioned there that would mean the world to you. And that's the prize on the line at the end is, is to be that player. And I'm sure it's something that you're you're really aiming towards over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, it's 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 just the, the the end goal for me. Like if I could represent the country, that'd be the, the best feeling ever. Um, especially with Pat as well. That that's just that's just an added on bonus. Um but yeah, it is it is coming to that stage where you're you're kind of seeing the results of other players and you're seeing how good they are and you have to, to match up with that. So it'll be really, really tough for me to to go all the way, but I'll I'll hundred percent give them my best shot. Um but again it is it is the best of the best so yeah to be the best you have to beat the best you know um, so hopefully I, there are a few, a few results coming my way and then um, I'll be able to represent Ireland at the, the highest stage in the, the E Nations yeah nice way to finish and Owen will face UCD this week then a Dublin Derby tasty stuff a FIFA Dublin Derby between St. Pat's and Shamrock Rovers uh, before a game against Longford Town in the group phase four things move to the knockouts and as I mentioned at the start from next week so uh, the games this week are are, are not being uh, being streamed as such but from the following week from game day three onwards uh, all of the games are, are going to be streamed by the FAI the ELOI so you can watch all the games all the way up to the final uh, and watch the drama unfold and you can follow Owen's results as well on all of our St. Pat's FC social channels it's at St. Pat's FC on Twitter Facebook Instagram it's at St. Patrick's Athletic FC on TikTok we're on YouTube as well, and I'm sure you can find Owen's Instagram and Twitter as well if you want to have a look because he's uh, going to be keeping people updated there as well. 
Oh, thanks a million for jumping on. That was a really interesting insight into what this is. Um, I should have asked you as well. Sorry, before we finish, you're a St. Pat's fan. Clearly, you're sitting there in your Pat's jersey. St. Pat's fan, yeah. Um, where did your your kind of love for the club come from? You mentioned you're local and um, things have started well. I know you guys are, are supporting from afar, but I'm sure you're looking forward to being back in Richmond, cheering the lads on soon. Yeah, I've been a Pat's fan since I was. I think, I think we first game. What at the end of the I think it was five or six. It was when we played uh, Tottenham in Richmond Park. I think Robbie Keane scored the winner. So that that's how that's how long I've been following the club. My dad's brought me to every game since when I was growing up, and I've seen league titles, FA Gold Cups, everything. Um, but now that we're we're catching a bit of form and we're, we're st- we started off the season well, I'm, I'm really looking forward and hopefully at least I can get in for one game before the end of the season and and cheer on the boys because it, it it is it is hard not going to the games because I used to go to every single game. Uh, before lockdown, I went to every single home game. So it, it is kind of a, a bad feeling looking up in the sidelines, but at least that we're doing well, it's something to cheer them on anyway. Well, I think as our official ELOI player own, we might be able to find a way somehow maybe to get you into a game. I'll have to ask our COVID officer, but it might be possible because you're officially our St. Pat's FIFA player, so you're a very important guy. Thanks very much, Jamie. I'd, I'd love to get in, at least for just one game. That'd be amazing, just to even see the boys, because... It's been so long since we last game and uh, just even getting, even watching the sidelines or even in, in an empty stadium, that would just be the main, that's the main the world. Right, well, we'll try and sort that. We have to follow all of the official uh, social distancing guidelines and there are certain numbers that are allowed into games and stuff. But no, we'll, we'll surely, surely, surely have to try and sort that. Owen, oh, thanks a million for jumping on. Best of luck in the next couple of games as well and we'll catch up again before the end. Well done. No problem, James.